Why is the cleaver so popular in Chinese cooking? As two others have pointed out already that, Chinese cleaver, is actually a knife instead of an axe like a butcher's cleaver is. Think of them as chef's knives with very deep blades. They are popular because they work very well. I have a few different Asian style kitchen knives with a large square blade. I have one that was very cheaply made of thin carbon with a wooden handle driven onto a tang. I have one with stainless steel in a heavier gauge with the handle formed from the same steel as the blade. I have a Japanese one made of very high quality stainless with a handle made from some kind of tough plastic much like the handles on professional knives by Westoff, and I also have a regular butcher's cleaver that is only used for breaking bones. The one with the stainless steel handle has never felt very comfortable to me, although I am sure it is very durable. The thin cheap carbon steel feels thin and cheap, it is easy to sharpen but it rusts far too easily, and the handle is a bit loose. My favorite one of these is the one made in Japan. The blade is about 10 inches long and takes a razor sharp edge and holds it. I use it for slicing everything from fruit or meat to large hard vegetables. The extra depth of blade lets me cut through large veggies like cabbages and melons by pushing down on the back of the blade. The depth of the blade also makes mincing and chopping easier. The blade being wide and flat makes crushing easier too because there is less worry about the sharp edge getting to your hand. The width of the blade also makes it good for scooping stuff off the cutting board. It is an excellent general purpose chef's knife. There are a couple of small problems with Chinese style knives in he hands of people not used to them. Most people do not know how to store them well. The wide blades do not fit nicely in knife blocks or in most knife rolls. Some people see the shape and decide to whack away at things like they would with an actual cleaver. This is very bad because these knives have fine edges that are damaged if you do that to them. It is also dangerous because the wide blade is not balanced to be used like that and might glance off of what you are trying to hack and bite you instead. The real reason is the Chinese people like their food fresh as in still have blood and more importantly have bones and skin not like meat Americans buy in the supermarket, almost all deboned and mostly de-skinned Chinese people buy their fresh chicken, fresh fish, pork and other meat with a lot of bone and skin still attached to the meat and the skin can be as tough as a leather belt Chinese people almost universally like freshly killed chicken, which they buy when it is alive then is quickly killed and defeathered and gutted and then taken home whole to chop up so the Chinese cooks need a tool that can chop up bones and thick skin by the way freshly killed corn-fed chicken in China are very tasty unlike the chicken sold at a supermarkets almost all Chinese people in China have a cleaver at home to chop chicken, duck, fish, pork, etc. Chinese people in America seldom have cleavers because they mostly buy their meat pre-chopped and in packages at the supermarket. Just like other people in America those that do use cleavers are usually cooks or new immigrants or something that still like to chop their own chicken or fish instead of just buying prepackaged meat also, people in China sometimes finely chop mince their own meat with their light cleavers, as they do not trust the supermarket mincing machine to be kept clean nor the butcher to not add non-fresh meat and scraps into the mix. Because most Chinese food is finely chopped. Very few meat dishes in China are truly sliced. Chinese food tends to keep the bone in dishes, so you need a beefy cleaver to avoid breaking the knife. I had the experience of giving my mother-in-law an expensive Japanese knife made of Damascus steel. It had a very very sharp edge and high hardness. Not like Chinese knives which tend to be dull and relatively ductile, due to all the chopping. I tried to teach her the proper knife technique. I tried to explain this as not a meat cleaver. A month later the knife shattered. It was an expensive knife. Now, here are some pictures of Chinese food, notice how everything is almost universally chopped and minced in Chinese cuisine. There are a few exceptions, however, such as Beijing duck. Let's be clear. A cleaver is a heavy, squared off blade with a handle used to chop through bones. It bears closer relation to a hatchet than to a knife. There are three squared off knives that Chinese cooks will use. There is the lightweight slicer, the keidao, which will have a slightly curved edge, which is good for slicing vegetables, mincing herbs, and thinly slicing meat. There is a slightly heavier chopper, which is more of a general purpose blade, and there is the heavier gudao, which is used just like the western cleaver. 
The width of the kadao actually makes it easier to keep your fingers out of the way the blade when you are chopping vegetables, and the shape makes it easy to scoop up what you've chopped. Ultimately, it's a matter of what you are used to. If you watch skilled chefs working with the kadao, they can do some pretty intricate and amazing work with that blade. I normally use a western chef's knife, but I have a kadao and a santoku knife. It is a different technique with each, and all can do the job, it's just a matter of what you are comfortable with and used to. The cookery writer and chef Fuchsia Dunlop was the first westerner to train as a chef at China's Sichuan Institute of Higher Cuisine, nearly 30 years ago. In her memoir Shark's Fin and Sichuan Pepper, there is a lovely section devoted to the cleaver. She talks about the precision and the variety of cuts you can achieve with it. In Chinese cookery, there is no such thing as simply chopping a vegetable, but also explains that the blunt spine is used for pounding meat to a puree, the nub of the handle stands in for a pestle and the flat of the blade is used for smashing. Best of all, the surface area of the flat blade allows the cook to easily transfer the contents of the chopping board to the pot or wok. 